Today on Roblox Drama! It's a standoff, baby, between the two biggest YouTubers on the YouTube platform. In the left corner, we have the one, the only, Flamingo himself, Albert Stuff. And on the right, we have the man behind the 3am videos, the Death Minister himself, G-Station. That's right, everybody. It's time for another round of our favorite game show, Who's Gonna Steal Flamingo's Thumbnail Next? With our latest contestant, J-Station, who Albert accuses of stealing his thumbnail. Just what is his response? Does J-Station deserve the hate or deserve a break? Well, we've got the scoop to keep you in the loop. Let's get right into the drama. J Station, an infamous name that even six year old noobs can recognize because they're probably his primary audience. The boogeyman in the closet of YouTube, the one whose name is whispered in the darkest depths of the back alleys in New York. My boy J Station is no stranger to controversy, involved with the Etika 3 a.m. videos, and then every single video he's done has been just made fun of by thousands of people for their like real fake and obvious nature, but you know some people actually enjoy his content. It's been described as so bad it's good. Well, it looks like we'll be the ones talking to JStation through the Ouija board since he just got killed by Flamingo on Twitter. Just a couple of days ago, Flamingo posted on Twitter, lol, JStation, the guy who faked his girlfriend's death, just yoinked me and Polar Cub Art's thumbnail, shaking my head. And as you can see here, this is JStation's thumbnail with one of his many three faces that he uses right beside him reacting to one of Flamingo's thumbnails. And if we see Flamingo's original thumbnail, uh oh, that's looking very similar. You can tell the J station's just gone and downloaded that thumbnail, done a little beep boop hacker move, and then uploaded it, just stuck a face on there, and bing bang boom, baby, 40k views. And people were furious. So many Roblox YouTubers came to Flamingo's defense and roasted J station in the comments down below. Kaneko Kitten says, You've made it. Finally, Flamingo's on the J station YouTube channel. Oh boy, is a dream of mine. Maybe one day even your boy will get there. Polar Cub Art, the original thumbnail artist, says, My favorite time of the day is when people steal our work. My username's this, says, Copy strike him and see what he does, lol. Can you even copy strike for thumbnails? <laughs> and quite possibly, my favorite comment by Devon. At this point, I wouldn't be surprised if this guy is so lazy that he doesn't even film his own videos. He just hired a $5 Fiverr body double to do the content for him. <laughs> <laughs> and as an antics replies, lol, I think the news got to him. Since now, J Station has changed his thumbnail, although for some reason he still actually kept the like Ouija board artwork there. I don't know if that was an original Ouija board by Polar Cub Art or if it was just like an imported copy, but it almost certainly is still sourced from the same thumbnail. Like, come on, just look at that. The black stroke and everything's the same. And of course, the same style is there. Like, you've still got the little scared man behind the Ouija board with a demon behind him. That's not changed. And we had a whole controversy about that when the other people, the Spanish YouTubers were doing that. So while it's still not perfect, he did at least remove Cletus and the demon that Polar Cub Art made and the background. So there's that, but the Ouija board is still there and it's still the same idea. But then we get on to the interesting stuff, ladies and gentlemen, because it's J Station actually responds to this tweet, something that you probably haven't seen before. He says quite scathingly, you know, at Albert's stuff, almost got banned from making edgy content back in the day. So it's kind of ironic he brings up my edgy content when a simple DM or email would have done the trick. I didn't mean to steal his thumbnail. I just searched Roblox Ouija board on Google. So quickly before we continue with his response, I searched up Roblox Ouija board on Google as well. And look at this. This is like a perfect image. It's just a good old fashioned in-game screenshot. Nothing could go wrong there. But how do you not know that that's a thumbnail for a video? I mean, it's certainly not a screenshot from the game. Uh, the link takes you to some blog called Blog Ema, who I think have just stolen Flamingo thumbnail. Well, they've got a link to it on YouTube. I don't know what Blog Ema is, but that's pretty much where it's from. But yeah, how can you not tell that that was an actual original creative product? And 
from the man himself, Flamingo. Cause everyone knows Flamingo, right? Anyway, he continues. I have no problem to remove this artwork if it belongs to him. It would be so simple to just say, hey man, that's my art. Could you remove it? I'd be happy to. Instead, he sent like 1000 haters to my channel at Albert stuff. Sorry, dude, like honest mistake. I get it though. I'm the bad guy forever. It's cool, it's cool. You guys want me to make an edgy channel cause YouTube pretty soft. Although I can't tell if that's an actual question or if it's a joke or what. So I guess this is kind of an apology. I don't know, but if I was doing an apology video, I probably wouldn't start it with insulting the guy you're apologizing to and reminding everyone of how they nearly got banned for similar content, which I'm pretty sure is misleading because from what I've seen of Albert's old content, the real like edgy stuff that he probably could have been banned for was just like uh, not safe for work, the swearing, really dumb stuff like that. And of course this was all in like a bloxy game. But then if you do compare it to what Jay Station did to get banned, faking the death of his actual girlfriend in real life and all that, it definitely pales in comparison. Sona Draw Stuff replies, why is he mad that I stole his thumbnail? He should have DM'd me not to steal it, shaking my head. Which is actually a good point. Like they don't have to just DM you privately if you do something like that. Like it's your responsibility. Now, I know some of you are probably gonna hate me after this. Some of you are gonna start bashing me to your grandma, but I need to sympathize with the devil a bit. I need to sympathize with J Station. Cause I've been in this exact situation just last month when I accidentally took a bit of green Lego cat's thumbnail and smacked it on my own and gave it a little glow up because it was from Piggy Meme Review and I just took one of the Piggy Memes in the thumbnail and I slapped it on there and I did credit the original maker of the meme, but the original maker of the meme wasn't green Lego cats. It was some rando who stole green Lego cat's thumbnail and therefore I stole green Lego cat's thumbnail and uh, he was really nice. He actually DM'd me and didn't make it public and everything to remove it. And that's what I did. I completely changed up the thumbnail. Not one bit of it remained. So I do understand that mistakes do happen. And if this was all an honest mistake, I'd be more inclined to forgive him. Although I would be quite surprised that you weren't able to recognize that that was a YouTuber thumbnail. But reading some more replies, from the looks of it, this does actually seem to have been on purpose, perhaps. In fact, Paula Cub Art brings this up herself, where she says, that's funny coming from you. Stop backtracking, trying to bring up drama he's already resolved. You're not entitled to a DM. Plus, you should have known better to use an image that is obviously a YouTuber's thumbnail. And then continues saying, also, this you? Tagging out on Team Flamingo to another replier, Losticula, who replies, quit the I'm sorry dude it was a mistake excuse. You have copied thumbnails multiple times and you are only apologizing because you got called out by a famous YouTuber. And here we go, we got some other thumbnails that it looks like he's copied. Well, I mean, I say it looks like, but come on dude, that is 100% copying right there. Everything is the exact same. Like he even goes to the effort of editing out YouTubers from their own thumbnails and then replacing it with his big old head there. And oh my goodness, he even copies the dang titles word for word. Nah, nah, I'm done. I'm out. I can't do this. Nah. Guys, I'm beginning to think this probably wasn't a mistake. Anyway, that's about it regarding the drama. I do have to admit, I kind of feel bad for Jay Station. He is the internet's punching bag. Like, man, everyone just wails on him. But to be fair, he keeps doing this stuff. He keeps giving reasons for people to call him out. It's just a self-fulfilling cycle. And I think he really needs to put some effort in to break in it. Maybe hire a thumbnail editor or something. I don't know, it's just my suggestion. But what do you think about all this, everybody? Do you think J Station can never be redeemed. Do you think this was another bad call on J Station's part? Or do you think everyone is overreacting and that it should be okay to take a bit of thumbnails? Let me know down below. You've been watching Roblox Drama. I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Goodbye.